Hi, my name is Mary Colen and welcome to your yoga to feel happy. Today we're mainly focusing on moving our body, on breathing and just coming back to that place of gratitude and self-love. Let's get started. Let's embrace a comfortable seat on our mat. I chose the easy seat to cast now where I'm crossing my legs, but you do you please choose whatever makes you happiest and most giggity. <laughs> you may also choose a blanket or a pillow to put underneath your booty to lift up your heart, to lengthen your spine, to get that support. And once you have found your most comfortable seated position, you may also find the Hidaya Mudra, the gesture of the heart mudra, as it helps us to open up our heart chakra anahata today. We're tapping into our heart space a lot today, place of self-love, gratitude and happiness. For that, bend your index fingers and press your thumbs into your middle and ring finger and your pinkies are just pointing away. It's almost like you're holding a cup of tea, British style. I totally butchered that accent, <laughs> me having a German accent. Mary Mary, <laughs> once you have found that Hidaya Mudra, you may rest your hands on your legs and you may also close your eyes or soften your gaze and allow yourself to arrive in your first seated posture just become aware of your inhales and exhales slowing down the heart rate by extending each breath in and each breath out. Slowly you become aware of your heart space, your chest. Let your inhales enrich and warm your chest. And let your exhale soften tight areas in your body. Take a deep full breath into your heart, widen your collarbones, expand and lift your heart. On your exhale, shrug your shoulders down your back away from your ears. Imagine there's a string attached to the crown of your head, lifting you up a little more. Pull your belly in, stay long in your spine, lifted in your heart, soft in your shoulders. You have the option to think of three things that you are grateful for. Could be a person, an event, or an item. Maybe just food, what you had, or a person you just saw, or going to see. Maybe your pets. Whatever enriches and warms your heart. And lets your heart radiate even more. Take a few breaths here to think of these three things that you are grateful for. And once you have found these three things, Take a deep, full breath into your heart space. Lift up your heart even higher. And slow exhale. Melt your shoulders down even more, away from your ears, down your back. And slowly flutter your eyes open. Release your mudra. Maybe pump your fingers for a second. And then switch the crossing in your legs, please. If you are in your easy seat pose, 
place your hands on your legs let's do baby cow on your inhale open up your chest roll your shoulders away from your ears and exhale baby cat pull your navel in tuck your chin in two more times breathe in open your chest breathe out round and tuck in and one last time inhale open and widen your heart and exhale round and crunch and come back to neutral please I'm mirroring you use your right hand place it a little more back next to you breathe in lift up your left hand exhale place your left hand onto your shoulder and lean back Open up your heart, point your left elbow a little higher. Inhale, lift up your left hand again. Exhale, find a spinal twist by placing your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Keep your heart open as you lift and twist. And slowly come back forward other side place your left hand more toward the back breathe in reach your right hand up exhale place your right hand onto your shoulder lean back open up your heart space point your right elbow a little higher breathe in arm high exhale for a spinal twist guide your right hand to the outside of your left knee lift up and slowly with an open chest twist back and slowly come back forward and meet me in tabletop please and shake out your legs here for a second oof uh-huh Awesome, align your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hip bones. Now reach your right arm forward, almost like you want to shake your favorite person's hand. Extend your left foot back, flex your toes. It's going to be a bird dog variation. Place your right hand on top of your right shoulder and hamstring curl your left leg. Breathe in. Open up your chest, lift your left foot as high as you can, your right elbow. Exhale, crunch it in, guide your right elbow to your left knee. Let's do this two more times. Breathe in, open up, lift as high as you can. Exhale, crunch. One more time. Breathe in, open and lift. Exhale, crunch. Listen up, breathe in and open. On your exhale, grab for your back foot for tiger's pose. Keep breathing here. Level your hips, square your shoulders. Keep pressing your left heel up and back. Take one more inhale. Exhale, tabletop, release. Awesome, other side. Extend your left arm out and your right leg back. Flex your toes. Now rest your left hand on your left shoulder. Hamstring curl your right leg. Take a breath in. Lift up your left shoulder. Kick your right foot up. Exhale, crunch. Two more times. Breathe in. Open your chest. Kick your right foot up. Your left elbow up as well. Exhale. Round. Breathe in. Lift up. Exhale. Crunch. One last time. Listen up again. Inhale. Lift. Exhale. Reach for your back foot. Level your hip bones, square your shoulders, keep pressing your right heel back, lift your right leg, you got this, and take one more breath in, 
exhale, release, come back to tabletop. Awesome. Tuck your toes under, please. Inch your hands a little forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Sink your heels down. Pipe your hip bones up. Spread your fingers wide like sun rays. If you'd like to, you can walk your dog. Again, you do you. Find what movements serve you best here. And find stillness. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, tippy toe yourself to the top of your mat. Could be also just a little dance. Whoop, whoop. Coming into your ragdoll pose. Deeply bend your legs here. Maybe go a little wider with your feet. And now imagine your feet are eyes. And with your fingers, you're drawing the mouth of a big smiley. So it's basically an upside down smiley. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's my idea <laughs> to make you smile, hopefully. <laughs> and if not, that's fine too. You just go along with my cheesy program, please. <laughs> and just allow your head to drop. Melt your shoulders away from your ears and just let this be more a movement rather than just being in a certain rigid state here. Hmm. And slowly come back to center. Walk your feet more together and slowly roll yourself up on your next inhale with soft knees. <laughs> Hands to your heart. And you may close your eyes. And come back to these three things you are grateful for. Feel them. Bring them into your heart space. Allow your heart to widen, to radiate even more. Take a breath in. And a soft exhale. One more time, breathe it into your heart space. And out. And flutter your eyes open. Arms down by your side, please. Spread your toes wide. Soften your knees. In an extended mountain or Vastasana, reach your arms up. Hold and breathe here. Pull your belly in. Shrug your shoulders down. Now, gaze up. And imagine you want to grab either for the sun or the clouds and you go as high as you want to. You can lift one heel, then the other. And you keep grabbing and grabbing. And if you want to, you can make it more of a dance. Just warming up your body, opening up the energy channels. You can go <laughs> as wide as you want to if you want. <laughs> Absolutely. Maybe just like walking back a little and just forward. It's just to let yourself to get more loose in your body. And you keep grabbing for it. And there's one more cloud I want to grab. And there, right there and there. <laughs> Awesome, and then come back to your lifted hands. Take a deep breath in, lengthen up, and exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, with soft knees, please. Release the crown of your head. You know, halfway lift, place your hands gently on your shins or thighs. Soar your heart forward, roll your shoulders away from your head toward your hip bones. Take one more breath in, lengthen up your spine. Exhale, fold. And then come back up, inhale, hands high into the sky. Exhale, baby back bend with your fingertips on your shoulder blades. So lift up through your heart and slowly lean back. Keep pressing your heels and toes into the earth. Pull your belly button in. Widen your heart. Take one more breath in here. 
Stay for your exhale, lean a bit more back. Inhale, lift your hands into the sky. Exhale, slowly fold forward. In a halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, plant your hands down underneath your shoulders, step your feet back, hip width distance, take a moment to set up your plank, breathe here, lift your hip bones in height of your shoulder plates, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Imagine there's a wall behind you, you're kicking your heels in, at the same time you're also pulling your sternum forward. Take a deep inhale, hold, exhale, downward facing dog, release. Inhale, fly your right foot up. Axis, Scorpio, your right leg. Bend your right knee and open up toward your right side. Option, just rotate your right leg into one direction. In the other direction. <laughs> Inhale, reach your right foot up. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Setting up for warrior one, press your left heel down and you choose if you want to be more on a tighter row or a little more wider. I choose a little more wider so I have more stability. Really important to anchor down your left heel. Deeply bend your right knee. Once you're ready, send your arms up toward the sky. Hold here and breathe. If you want, you can bring your hands to your hips to feel your hip bones and bring your right hip crease slightly more back, your left hip forward. And once you feel more aligned, you can lift your hands up again. Yeah, I find this pose always a little awkward. If you feel the same way, no, you're not alone. <laughs> Take a deep inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, chest expansion grip. Interlace your hands behind your lower back. Take a breath in, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Open up your chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow in gratitude forward. Surrender the crown of your head. Keep your legs as they are. Firm your right outer hip in. Press your palms up into the sky. On your next inhale, come back up into warrior one. Right away, exhale, warrior two. Open up like a flower to the front and back. Adjust your left leg if needed a little more to the back. Deepen your right. Bend a little more. Soften your shoulders. Now imagine you're holding an energy ball in your hands. You can use the energy ball you've created in your heart space and you're holding on to it. And to loosen up our body a little more, draw some infinity circles with your arms holding that energy ball. It's all about being more playful here, finding that inner child, loosening up our body, creating heat and love in our body as well. I didn't count really, we're just going with the flow today. <laughs> Let's do a few more. Maybe you want to go wider in your infinity sign. Just keep your legs stable, please. Woo! <laughs> and then come back to warrior two, please. Gaze out in front of you. Take one more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. We're going to slow it down. Cartwheel your hands down. Step back into high plank. Shift forward, lower into low plank, hug your elbows in. Option to lower your knees, untuck your feet. Inhale, either cobra pose or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Amazing job. Let's do the left side. Inhale, elevate. 
your left leg axis, Scorpio, your left leg. Just bend your left knee, open up toward your left side, and then if you want to circle your leg into one direction, in the other direction. And inhale, elevate your left hip, heel one more time. Exhale, low lunge, place it in front of you. And we're setting up for warrior one again. Angle down your right heel. Choose whatever gives you best stability here. I'm going a little bit more wider with my legs. Deeply bend your left leg. And once you're ready, come back into warrior one. Lift up your arms. Hold and breathe. Option two, guide your hands toward your hips. Bring your left hip crease back and your right hip forward. Let's embrace that somewhat awkward pose <laughs> again. Keep pressing down through your right heel, through your right and left heel. And take a deep inhale. Exhale, chest expansion grip. This time interlace the other way if you remember. Breathe in, roll your shoulders down, lift up your heart. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow in gratitude again. Lower your head, press your hands up. Keep your legs strong and steady. Firm your left outer hip in more. Inhale, come back to warrior one. Lift up your hands. Exhale, warrior two. Open up like, yeah, the flower again. <laughs> to the front and back. Press your right heel back. Adjust your legs. Oh, again, we're having our energy ball from our heart space. Using that to draw circles and whatever you did before, try to mirror it this time. And just going with the flow here, right? We're just doing whatever makes us happy. <laughs> Keep your legs stable, please. And again, I didn't really count. We're just doing as we feel like it. Moving a little more and more. Creating heat. Embracing self-love. And let's just do a few more here. Mm-hmm. Oh, I felt a little crack in my back. <laughs> Guess it's working somewhat. <laughs> awesome. And then come back into Warrior 2. Gaze out in front of you. Take one more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, your choice, flow down. Inhale, either cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take one cleansing breath in, one cleansing breath out. And drop your knees down and come into a child's pose. Widen your knees, bring your big toes to kiss, and lower down. Reach your hands forward, melt down, and surrender, and just feel. An option to find reverse namaskar by gluing your palms together behind your neck, inch your elbows slightly more forward to open your chest a little more. And take three cycles of breath here to reconnect with the heart space, to come back to these three things you are grateful for.
and slowly press yourself up into tabletop, into downward facing dog. Inhale, navigate your gaze forward. On your exhale, again, walk yourself forward. Maybe make it a dance, a little bit more something creative. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. And unfurl your spine, slowly come back to standing. Yay, good. Widen your legs like distance apart. Toes out, heels in, and try itchy nose. <laughs> Star pose, hands up into the sky and stay here and breathe. Widen your body, just expand, take up space as it is in a very enriching pose. It widens our energy bubble, gives us confidence, and yeah, just feeling good. Let's take a deep inhale. Exhale, horse pose, hands to your heart, bend your knees, lower down. Let's do this float two more times, inhale, start. Exhale, horse. Breathe in, open up, and fly open. <laughs> Exhale, horse. Awesome, now stay in your horse and just shift back a little and forward one side to the other and just get settled in line your shoulders over your hip bones carve your tailbone under widen your knees to firm up your booty muscles hands to your heart and now lift one heel and just bounce here for three two and one lower your heel lift the other heel and bounce here for three two and one yes you guessed right lift both heels up let's do it together we can do this and we'll bounce here for three galloping for two let's have fun for one inhale star pose widen exhale tee out your arms parallel your feet inhale sparkle your heart up Exhale, wide legged forward fold, press your Vrita, Padottanasana, cascade your torso toward the space of your legs. Either place your hands underneath your shoulders or at elbows, or maybe just grab the outside of your legs. Surrender the crown of your head down and just breathe. And maybe you want to come back again to these three things you are grateful for. Take two more cycles of breath here. Nice. Slowly guide your hands to your hips. Breathe in, lift halfway, and then all the way up into standing on your exhale. Either toe here, your feet together, or jump together. Awesome. Let's flow down. Come to the top of your mat again. Woo. Inhale. Extended mountain, arms high. Exhale, baby back bend, place your fingertips onto your shoulder plates, lift up your elbows. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl, come into a tiny ball. Bend your knees, rest your forehead on your knees. Lift your heels as high as you can. And if you'd like to, you can challenge yourself here. Make it fun, you know, you're not gonna fall far. You can hug your legs here. Press your ankles together, your legs, your knees. Oops, one more inhale. Exhale, plop down to your booty. <laughs> and come back into a comfortable seat. You may cross your legs again. 
oops, what's in my hair? <laughs> and we're going to do a little chant. You may join or just observe whatever you want, just to close this practice. And yeah, thank you so much for joining first and take a normal breath in first. Soft exhale out. One more time, breathe in and out. Now the next inhale is to prepare for the chant. Inhale. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Om May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Peace in the past, peace in the future, peace in the now. Namaste.